Have you ever wondered if you can detect when a form closes from another form in your application? It can be a tricky situation, but don't worry. We're here to help you figure it out. I totally get it. It can be frustrating when you want to perform actions in your main form based on the state of a subform. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges. Let's dive into the specific question at hand. One user asked, is it possible to detect a form closing from another form? They want to know if the main form can recognize when a subform has closed and execute some code in response. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's the deal? In WinForms, forms can communicate with each other, but it requires a bit of setup. Understanding how events work in this context is crucial for achieving what you want and stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a quick tip that can make your form management even smoother. To detect when a subform closes from the main form, the user should first subscribe to the form closed event of the subform. This allows the main form to respond when the subform is closed. Next, the user needs to implement the event handler in the main form. This is where the user can define what actions to take when the subform closes. After that, the user should ensure that the subform is opened from the main form. This can be done using the show dialog method, which will block the main form until the subform is closed. Finally, the user can add any additional logic inside the event handler to update the main form based on the actions taken in the subform. Fun fact. Did you know that the concept of forms in programming dates back to the early days of GUI development? It's fascinating how far we've come. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution suggests using the form closed event to detect when a subform closes. You can create an instance of the subform and add an event handler that shows a message box when the form closes. Let's take a moment to review another user's answer. This user suggests using a modal dialog to detect when a form closes. By opening the subform with show dialog instead of show, the main form can automatically know when the subform has closed. If you prefer not to use a modal dialog, the user notes that the event handler method is still a valid approach. And here's the tip I promised. Always remember to clean up your event handlers to avoid memory leaks. It's a small step that can save you big headaches later. And there you have it. You can now detect when a subform closes from your main form. Remember, effective form management is key to a smooth user experience. If you found this helpful, hit that subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our next video.